So we're in Virginia and we are going to look for our first piece of property. It's an open house, so we're gonna check it out. It's so fun to finally start this process. So the house we were going to see, the open house was tomorrow. Um, but just getting a feel for this area here and really liking it. It feels very different from Oregon, which is kind of what we're looking for. So the criteria are high-speed internet, no HOA, a shop or a detached garage, a decent sized house, don't want something too small. So today is our first day of proper house hunting. And everything. So, so we're at the first house here. With the pond back there. I like the pond. Quiet, it's nice. The issue is it's pretty sloped. Hard to uh, build too much if it's too sloped. Yeah, you would have to backfill a lot with dirt or something. Yeah, where would you put a shop? Okay, we're off to see another house. That one was fine. Maybe not exactly what we're looking for. This is a ranch. It's pretty spacious though. It's nice, but not for us. So this one was the further. Space. No, 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 it's a great space. This would be great to finish up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, over the OSB? Over the OSB. Yeah, it's pretty This one I really liked, it was really nice. It had like a nice detached garage, which would be perfect for a shop. The, the land was pretty nice, the house was nice. I would say this is a contender, pretty good. Cooper's Vineyard. Definitely feels like we're in the country here. Okay, condensation on the glass. It's kind of nice to get familiar with the area. We were looking at where the wineries, where the breweries around here. Lucy's High Shop. Nice to find these little little places, you know, off the beaten path. So another day here today, and we're going to look at another house. This time it's in a different location, it's more towards the coast. What really disturbed me about that house was that when you were standing on the front porch, you could see a car dealership quite far away. You could see all the cars on the lot. I'm not moving across the country so I can look at a car dealership. That is like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, this is not gonna work. Even for free, yeah, I don't wanna live there. This is like a model house we're gonna take a look at. The reclaimed wood, yeah. So this, these houses are built in this neighborhood, or is this something you can build anywhere? Um, just in this community. Okay. Now in terms of something like the HOA, mm -hmm. if, because we do woodworking, mm -hmm. is that something that's allowed here to open up the garage and have the, have the table saw going or something like that during oh, the yeah. day? There's no like noise issues and things like that? It does. It makes so, it feel less closer. Like real Stepford Village here feeling. And I totally get that some people don't want a lot to take care of, don't want a big backyard or anything. Everything is kind of, you know, nice and kind of fake. Another model home. So is this going to be my new shop? It feels yeah, really it nice feels and large. It's like a living space, you know, like you just hang out here. And raise it up, put a twin size bed in here. And you have a tiny guest bedroom. I think this is like the weirdest place. It's like a Stepford Village. This house is just, it's huge and it's just gorgeous. It's very expensive, you know, way more than we want to spend, but it was fun to visit. 
I hate the neighborhood feel. Everything is so close. Really can't stand that. I need some land. I need some space. It's a pond back here. This is a ranch. See, car dealership. This is like a model house. Everything is kind of, you know, nice and kind of fake, you know? So we just put an offer in. We've been here now, what, five days? Something like that? For this is the fourth full day. Fourth full day we've been here. So we just put an offer in. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's kind of exciting. After some negotiating back and forth, we uh, we got our house. Well, we haven't completely well, got it. We haven't it yet. completely got it. Scheduled an inspection. If everything goes well with that. Um, likely that we will have a house. First thing someone was gonna say is did you go too quickly? It checked all the boxes. You don't need to see 600 properties. First of all, no, that just seems like why would you waste all that time? Um, and, like, it's yeah, because otherwise you're staying in a hotel. You're staying in a hotel, you wanna get this moving, it has land, it has mm -hmm. a shop. Yeah, um, it's, oh, it's, it's a got nice a, it's got house, a beautiful, beautiful shop. shop. Yeah. It has, it's private, the whole area feels nice and private. Yeah. So, a couple acres. A couple yeah. acres, exactly. The house is, is in, in really nice condition. So, while there are some things we would like to kind of update over time, it's nothing that needs to be done right away. So, yeah. So, this is your celebratory uh, milkshake? A milkshake at a diner. Mm -hmm. This is a rock and roll diner. It's got a jukebox and everything. So planning a meetup here in Richmond, Virginia on Saturday, August 4th at 2.30 p.m. We're going to be at the Hardywood Brewery, West Creek. Not the downtown location, but the one off 288. So it's family friendly and I'll put more info in the description. If you are anywhere in the area, I hope you can make it and I hope to see you there.